So when we're multiplying two numbers in scientific notation, we're going to multiply the factors. Those factors are the numbers that you're multiplying by the power of 10. So those in this example would be like the 2 and the 8 would be like the factors. So we multiply those numbers, we keep our base 10, and our 10s are what have exponents on them, and then you would add those exponents. And then the final step is to make sure that your answer is in proper scientific notation, and we'll talk about that in a couple of the last examples. So let's look at the first one, 2.34 times 10 to the 6th times 1.7 times 10 to the 8th. So you're going to take those factors of 2.34 and 1.7, and you're going to multiply those numbers. So 2.34 times 1.7 times, you're going to keep that base of 10, and then you add the exponents of 6 plus 8. So the 2.34 times 1.7 is going to give us 3.978. We keep our 10, and we add our exponents, which gives us 10 to the 14th. So the last step says make sure your answer is in proper scientific notation. So remember, proper scientific notation, that factor that we are multiplying by the power of 10 has to be between 1 and 10, or greater than 1, less than 10. 3.978 is between 1 and 10, so our final answer is 3.978 times 10 to the 14th. Let's look at the next example. We're going to multiply our 2 and our 4.2. Those are our factors. So 2 times 4.2. We're going to keep our 10, and we're going to add our exponents, negative 4 plus negative 8. So when we multiply 2 times 4.2, you should get 8.4. You're going to keep your 10, and you're going to add negative 4 and negative 8 to give you negative 12. Again, double check that factor. Make sure it's a value between 1 and 10. It is 8.4 is between greater than 1 and less than 10. So our number is in proper scientific notation. There we go, 8.4 times 10 to the negative 12. Let's take a look at the next.